So I believe I've got all the jumpers in, at least I hope I do. I added a, a couple extras with the insulation tube on them, just because there was extra tubing to help keep separation. Uh, moved on to the resistors. I've sorted the resistors. I've got all of the 4.7k ohm resistors here. I've pre-bent the leads. It looks like these are on 0.4 centers, at least I hope they are, because I've pre-bent them to 0.4. Uh, R1, I know where R1 is. R1 is here, and I guess I will go with silkscreen or with the tolerance band up. And then it moves on to R12, and this is where this is going to get interesting. Trying to find these. R17. R11. R12. And I'll go to the right. So... Actually, I guess, do I do one at a time and solder? Probably. I'll get a cleaner install that way. So there's R1. I'll check him off here. We found R12 over here someplace. R12, R15, I think was right there near R12. There's 14, 15. With the band up. Of course, because I'm on camera here, I have my extra light off because it creates so much glare in the camera. So it makes it harder for me, but we're not going to, of course, solder all these resistors together. That would be ridiculous. There's R15. R27. I see 25, 23, 22... 26 R27 off to the let's say off to the left, correct? R27 I've assembled so many digital boards over the last decade. It's really weird being back to something that's a mix of analog and with lots of analog, uh, R28. And with a, a more, well, it's, it's got to be a, been a hand layout, not that it's not a clean layout, but, you know, it is what it is. It's not double-sided, etc. So I'm looking for R28. We got 27, 26, 31, R28. Luckily, the silk screen's pretty straightforward and easy to read. Uh, you may have noticed me move the pressure pad around there. That was to get the leads kind of poking up through the board nearly straight. They were very crooked. Uh, R28, R61. Will this reach to R61? I don't know. R780. R60, R61, nope, gonna have to do this. Let's see, I spotted R61 a second ago. R61, and now that I flipped the board over. I've not been consistent with the tolerance bands here. Oh, yeah, I have. Huh. R61. R65, if it's really close there. R60. R65 is really close. was 
Jones. 61, 65, R88, 83, 80, R88, 88 r89 so it's 8897 r97. Ninety-seven ninety-five sixty-seven sixty-four R ninety-seven, huh? Well, I'm looking R ninety-seven. This is actually making me appreciate more some of the interactive layouts where it'll highlight on the computer screen where the part is on the board. Uh, I'm really not spotting R97. R97. Oh, right there. Right there. So. That's the reason that piece of paper exists, is it removes everything but the resistor markings. So I, you know, all the clutter isn't getting in the way. R97 and R112. 116's clear up there. As we get to these high numbers, they're kind of more shotgunned around the board. R112, which is kind of typical as designs evolve. R112. And there it is. That is all of the 4.7K. And the first step here, I still need to, of course, trim leads. But they're in. So, you know, we're making slow progress. So I'm not going to bore you with the rest of the resistors. It'll be the same thing when we get over to these power resistors over here. I'll, I'll grab that in video. I'm kind of undecided whether I'm going to do what they've said in the manual or do something slightly different. Anyhow, uh, I'll see you in a future video.